Hey guys, Fab Lab episode one. It's Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo. Yeah, so uh, today, this week's project is going to be the Spork Knife. The so, spork knife. come on in. Let's blab about it. What's up, guys? What's up, guys? <laughs> it's Fab Lab. Yeah, this you know, is our first episode, if you're Very wondering. first episode. You know, Jeb, it's been so long since we've done episode one. I guess the last show that we did an episode one on was PB at Night, which was... A now, good a three or ago. four months ago. Yeah. Well, no, more than that, like five or six months ago. Um, so yeah, it's like, been a long time since we started a show, and this is exciting. I yeah. love starting new shows. I like starting shows. Starting Show new startups shows. are awesome. Now, Jeb, I'm assuming that many people do not know who we are, because uh, we're on a new medium now. Um, yeah. So I'm Nick. I'm Jacob. And uh, this is Fab Lab. Yeah. And uh, this is a show that we have... Uh, Greatly appreciated that uh, Pinoco reached out their hand and said, would you like to partner with us? Uh, maybe show off some things that you can do at the personal factory. And uh, also, we're going to give you our, our take, and Jacob's going to explain how to do these things and everything. And uh, like we said, we're going to be talking about the spork knife today. A spork knife? What is that? Oh, gosh. What is that, Nicholas? Um, it's a knife with a fork and a spoon. <laughs> with a with a fork. <laughs> with a fork. It's it's a knife with yes. a spork. No. So uh, if if you guys uh, didn't see the description on the blog, what do you get when you combine a spoon with a fork and, and a, a knife? knife? Yeah, I guess a spork knife. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna be talking about that. We're also gonna be just giving you a good uh, roundabout thing of uh, how to how to do this and Everything all that junk. Like that. And pretty much what we're going to be doing on Fab Lab, how stuff's going to flow, and sort of get you the, the touchy feeliness of uh, my mic not working right because it's all messed up. Yeah, Thanks, you know, Nick's cousin. Um, <laughs> you know, Jet, we, um, we didn't, the, the, I don't think we, we're probably going to have more and more viewers who don't know what we're doing. And uh, yes. we did this show live at 6 p.m. Uh, Central, Central time, which, you know, check your time zone. I know a lot of you guys are on Eastern and Pacific and everywhere else. Um, just, you know, you can go to Google. It automatically converts it. But find out what t your time zone is uh, compared to 6 p.m. Central time. That's when we go live. Live.pbcasttv.com is where you can watch. Um, or you can go to blog.pinoco.com, which is where we post all the information as well. And then finally, right before we get started... Um, all these episodes are going to be posted on Pinoco's blog and then also on YouTube, which I... Th eh, don't quote me on this. I think it's YouTube.com slash Pinoco, but... It might be. That's not the... Pono -co. I know, I know, Jake. There you go. We're getting... Yeah. Yeah, there we go. So that's where it's going to be, and uh, you can find each and every episode there on YouTube. And uh, soon we will have uh, RSS feeds once they get approved or whatever, once they get verified when we upload one. And you can subscribe to the video and audio podcast, which I know a lot of you guys like to do. So, yeah. Yeah. You can find all that information on pbcasttv.com. All right, Jeff, so let's go ahead and talk about these spork knives. One more thing. Jacob is the maker in this show. I'm not the maker. I, I know nothing about making anything. <laughs> he, he's he's going to be the make the, the apprentice I am of the, the apprentice. Uh, maker project. And by the time... Uh, we get a couple shows on our belt. He's going to be a pro. I hope so. And uh, all that junk. So, so yeah. Let's, uh, <laughs> don't pull out the green one yet. Oh. That's, that's special. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. Okay, so um, the first the first little, what do you want to call it? Project. Uh, project that we wanted to do. Oh, yeah, and by the way, um, you guys can check out um, blog.pinoco.com. Right. And that's where we're going to have basically our show notes. Yeah, there's, um, we'll there's going to be we'll a bunch them, of different information. We'll have them on our post, too. Um, but basically, you can go in there and uh, um, get the, the the STL file, which is the, the 3D model file. We're going to explain all the jargon and stuff. Yeah. Um, that would be But you'll pretty much be able to get uh, the STL file to be able to print this on their website on the Personal Factory 4, yeah. which 5 is coming out soon. Um, now, let me ask you a question because I don't know anything about an STL file. Could could somebody like just grab the STL file or the STL file and just edit it if they wanted to? Like, could they? Um, the thing about it is the STL file is kind of like it'd be the equivalent, let's see, of having a <clears throat> paper airplane. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. To so you have a, you have a paper airplane 
and it's already made into a paper airplane. You can make it into a slightly different airplane by folding it and doing things, but it right. requires, you know, some software, which um, Blender, uh, which we don't have a link to, but, but uh, we'll put that in there. Uh, Blender.com is, is an Blender? open source uh, 3D modeling software. Yeah, and the cool thing is I'm a Linux fanboy, so it runs on Linux. It's yes. in the Ubuntu Software Center, whatever. So um, basically what you can do is take these STLs. If you wanted something different to this, which Blender.org. there's not too much that you really could do to this, but say you wanted it to bend a different way or whatever. Um, there's Blender. Yeah, there you go. Um, you could actually go in there and you basically push it around like you would like clay and stuff. That's cool. And um, it works out pretty well. Um, the the I'm, I I really want to try to start making this stuff in like a, you know, when we do um, uh, 3D files mm -hmm. to make it an open source thing. So people that don't have access to the software I use right. could actually use it. And it will be like compatible and but, everything. But, you know... At the I end understand. of the day, it's kind of hard to do that because then you don't get, you know, nice, Full. smooth awesomenesses. I gotcha. So, let's see. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, what we did, which this is going to be kind of hard to see. What Jacob did. Well, whatever. <laughs> what I did. Um, oh, gosh. This right here that you can't see in my hand because we have a green screen. Yeah, that's here. how. I know it's inside baseball, but we talk about this all the time. We're using a green screen, so if there's like weird pictures behind us ever, that's how we do that. But yeah. Go ahead. So this is actually green. Oops, that's so it kind of takes away all the niceness about it. We need like a. a you can use the product shot. <laughs> yeah. Beep, beep. It doesn't have a green screen on it or something. Yeah. I don't know. But uh, basically, this right here was the original um, model that I modeled this off of. Um, it's not exactly identical. Um, I just took the general concept and sort of ran with it and. It's bent a little bit differently and curved a little differently and stuff. But this is just, you know, it shows you that you can take... So is there... These are two original ones, right? Okay. Yes, these are both original. Okay. I got you. Um, now, you can, you can dye the 3D printed stuff different colors. But, but. <laughs> since it's a utensil that you would put in your mouth, that you would consume food with, I suggest that you do not yeah. use RIT dye, which is what you normally use to dye this, because... Rit dye has an acid in it, and it can mess you up. Now, is it's that would be acceptable for like I know you've done like a companion cube or something. You could do it with that, right? I mean, yeah. You could, um, okay, so it's like just because you're eating with it. Like next week's project oh. is not a um, utensil, not a utensil, right? Something you wear. So you can use Rit dye, which we will, and we will show you that on the next week's show. Um, but we tried. I can't even see you because of the lights. Um, we tried. Doing it with uh, green um, food coloring. Doing? Huh? Did you do that with the green? Yeah. And you can barely see. <clears throat> all right. It just looks like it's all like dirty <clears throat> and weird. Yeah. Um, it, it won't take color as well as I want it to with, with food coloring. Because food coloring is non-toxic. But, um, you know, you can use RIT dye to dye the... I think the white looks pretty cool, though. Yeah, and if you guys are, um, I get more into the how it's done, like, all the way through kind of side of it. Right. Um, these are actually done via a 3D printer. And what it does is it does it layer by layer, and this is originally in powder form. It's an SLS machine, which means uh, selective laser sintering. Uh -huh. And um, basically it's like a, you set it like, it, it, the model's laying like this, and it just heats up the pow the powder layer by layer, and then moves up, does the next layer, moves up, does the next layer, and puts powder down as it does it. And you end up getting this solid object, because then all the powder sort of falls off, and they clean it up and whatever. So, works pretty good. Um, they're they're pretty durable. Uh, it's like a, a nylon-based material. Yeah. It's flexible and now, all that. Now, it's hard for me to believe that this came from a 3D printer. I'm just saying that now. Yeah. I mean, you can, I mean, it's, it's. I wouldn't say a rougher edge, but it kind of feels, well, it's, if you look it's a closely, different texture. Well, if you look closely, you can see the layers. Right. But, you know, I mean, you cannot, like I've seen the things that Jacob prints with his like home 3D printer, like a MakerBot or something. Yes. Um, which is what he uses. Open source 3D printing. Right. Um, which is not as detailed and yeah, you it's, can't do it's as fun, intricate though, things but... like this. This would require a lot of supports. 
because you can't print something in midair right. and stuff like that. But it's it's good. I mean, it's not like it's not just like hey, this is a crappy model of what this is. I mean, yeah. it, I mean, it's, it's a, a functional model. Like yeah. I can go and get a bowl of cereal and like start yeah. going to town on it, or get something and stab it and then cut it. You know. Yeah. So, I mean, that it's 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 pretty it's pretty easy in the sense of getting it made. Um, right now, that's one of the cool things about the personal factory is. <clears throat> like with your MakerBot, you had to go through. You had to worry about the, which I know not comparable whatsoever. But well, I mean, it is in a kind, way. But yeah, yeah, sort of. Anyway, you have to, you had to worry about like you know, um, is it printing right? I, am I doing this correctly? Yeah. All you're Here, doing is just is uploading designing. a file, essentially. Yeah, and they do all the busy work, which is and awesome. Then you get you get something in a little bag in like like fifteen, ten to fifteen days yeah. on three D printing. They got also they have. They have this white, they call this white durable, I think, or something like that. And then they have um, like a transparent detail, yeah. which is transparent plastic. It kind of feels tacky. Um, okay. I actually did one of those in that. I just don't have it with me on a, another time. And um, they have a stainless steel metal, that. which I was really going to try to do one of those in this, but it was going to cost $80 because stainless steel yeah. is kind of expensive. Because of the processes they have to do with printing a powder and then firing it. So, and... so let me ask you, how much would one of these things? Let's just say that somebody just wanted to order one, and they, um, let's just say, or you know, something like this. Let's just say that they designed it themselves or they modeled it up. Anyway, they yeah. had the files and everything. They wanted to print this out. How much um, about? Well, I have cost? a um, Prime account on Pinoco, oh, man. Come on. which yeah. um, gives you a little bit of discount. It's like a monthly subscription to the website, yeah, like, like some... a pro account, yeah. kind of. Uh-huh. Um, and the the base model price for this would have been ten dollars for each. That's not so. Bad. You know, it's it, it's 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 more on the sense of you know one offs and um, like prototyping and stuff like that. Yeah, you're not going to want to make a thousand of those with three D printing. Right. There's um, other options. This yeah, is... I mean, this is like injection molded. Of course, well, you can't see that. <laughs> this is like injection molded, which is mass marketing. This is more like a gift or or just to show around or I mean, you to could get eat your idea it, yeah. across but of course it was 10 bucks i mean you know yeah but you know but it's it's, it's it's still uh, to get your model in a physical shape it's it's pretty interesting yeah. to use and stuff yeah so um you've got some one of the cool things about jacob uh is he uploads most of pretty much everything that you upload to pinoco and some other different modeling websites is you put all your photos on Flickr. Yes. Um, so if you want to switch over here, we'll kind of show some de- more detailed photos. And these are actually, I, I would tell you, these this is the, the model that Pinocchio shipped to him. Is this going to look all right? Yeah. So there's Jacob. Well, maybe we should go back to the other. Yeah, go back to the other. That's fine. So, you know, there's a comparative. I mean, it's literally the exact same size. as. Uh, yeah, and they actually, when you put them back to back with each other. They match up. Uh, well. well, one way or the other, it. I mean, I, I try to draw them as close as possible. Yeah. And um, I actually ended up, the way I ended up drawing, that's kind of weird. Whoa. Uh, the way, <laughs> <laughs> that is really weird. Uh, now you see it, and now you don't. <laughs> so um, the way I ended up drawing this up was um, using a tool called a digital caliber, which is basically just a really detailed measure, ru- you know, basically a ruler that tells you a digital readout of the measurements. So, you know, I basically, um, the process was to scan this in the, the scanner. Right. Or take a, you know, very straight on shot of it. And that shows you the profile. And then I drew out the profile in um, a program called Inventor, which is um, made for making um, Model. models. And yeah. you can make it in other programs. I just like Inventor because it's, you know, um, you can test out the stuff and make sure it's going to work the way you want it. Yeah. And um, then the hard part was um, actually having to do a profile sectional view of each one of these. And um, so I pretty much had to visualize what this little cut cut across section would look like. And I drew that as a drawing. And then I come over and draw another one, draw another one, draw another one, come all the way down and do it. And when I got done, it was a nice thick wide object you know, like that. And then you basically subtract the profile from that 
and you you flow them together and with this right. you know it's like a taper type thing yeah and then you know you subtract out these uh little serrated teeth. edges and that's pretty much how you know you made it so but you could do everything if you know if you so choose chose you could probably do that in something like inventor or not inventor uh blender right yes and uh you can do it in blender there's actually a program online that makes very simple 3d objects that you can export to stl okay. um called uh um 3d 10 no wait something i don't remember anyway. but yeah there, there's there's websites online that you can actually do um pinoco is actually um uh, partnering with Autodesk, um, like is that the same people who make AutoCAD? Or? Yes, the huh. makers of AutoCAD. That's cool. It's called One Two Three D, and basically what it is is a very simplistic, straightforward three D modeling program that allows you to upload to different places directly from it. Oh, that's cool. So like, let's let's compare this because this makes sense to me. Um, you like to use the Windows Live Gallery. Yes. For, this is completely off subject, but Jacob, you know, if you were going to export this uh, photo here that we're looking at to Flickr, you would just hit go to Flickr yeah, and it automatically Flickr. goes. Yeah. So this is the same thing, but with STL files, like modeling files to Pinoco. Yes. That's cool. And, um, and I forgot to mention the other material that they can 3D print, which is uh, a ceramic plastic. Mm. And at, that yeah. actually is full color. That's So you cool. can upload texture files um, with your model. Mm -hmm. Then there's there's tons of places that can make 3D models of different things and um, from pictures or yeah. different things and one, some are better than the others. But um, what me and Nick have been trying to do is make 3D models of our face, and which um, is pretty challenging. Yeah, it turns and, out. and it might end up uh, uh, finding a local uh, uh, company that might have a 3D scanner mm -hmm. and just get them to scan our faces for us. <laughs> And they'll probably do it for free just because, you know. We'll give them, hey. We'll go in there and stand and go, hey, could you scan our faces? Actually, we'll tell them that we have a website. Oh, yeah. wow. Hey, could we put this on your website? We'll, we'll, we'll say that you did it. <clears throat> yeah. Um, anyway. But, but, yeah. So, basically, what you can do is take a 3D model with a texture file, upload it to their website, and it will actually give you a ceramic, like a figurine kind of deal that um, is full color. It actually shoots, like ink into the material when it's printing it and that's complicated and it will actually you'll have a full color model when you're done so yeah and i've seen cool. some of these i mean it's like oh, it's it looks amazing yeah and mm -hmm. they're a little bit more fragile yeah and um, probably a lot more we're, we're going to try to get in some samples of all the different materials so that we can show them show you what they you know, and also that'll have, give us a good you know that'll it, basis yeah of, and we could say hey Stainless steel is cool, but you're probably not going to want to use it unless you want to shell out a hundred bucks or something like that. Well, I mean, it's not going to be a hundred, but yeah, it's it's well, a, it's a little bit more example. expensive than they do it by they do the three D printing by cubic cubic inch, and uh, we're going to have some projects uh, pretty soon. Um, it's one project a week if you haven't figured it out, um, and we have um, so a couple uh, simple projects like. Yeah. This would be considered a simple project. I mean, yeah, you can obviously tell. Um, I mean, you know. The one next week is a little bit more complex project. But um, still on the, the simpler end. Yes, on the, the simple end. And then we all have a project once a, uh, once a month that is a, a, a pretty involved, complex project um, that, re, that most of the time will include multiple um, media and stuff like that. Um, yeah. Because Pin the cool thing about Pinoco that stands, that puts them out, um, the, oh, sorry, the personal factory that puts it out from everything else is the fact that um, uh, you can not only get 3D printed stuff, you can get laser cut stuff like and, acrylic, uh, yeah, wood, a... uh, leather, everything. And you can get anything that you cool. can buy at sparkfun.com, which if you're familiar with SparkFun, they sell all the little Arduino microcontrollers, buttons, yeah. resistors, And I would like to do LEDs. a project with... Uh... Arduinos, because I, I don't know that much about yeah. them, but we have spotlighted them on another show that we do, and they're cool. Yes. You can do a ton of stuff with those, so I think there's a lot of uh, different things we could do with those. And, um, and I mean, it, it really and truly, I mean, like servo motors and everything. Um, it, Essentially, it's, it's like a one-stop shop. Yeah. You don't have to go, like, you were building something, you know, you used another website to yeah, you uh, don't print out some over stuff. Here to get, you had you to go to, like, Home Depot to get a switch, and then, like, somewhere else. Yeah, I you mean, don't, you had don't to, have to go to Radio yeah. Shack to get, you know, Whatever, a button yeah. or something. You can get it all at one time and get it all shipped to you in one box. 
and it's Which it's great. Cool. I mean, just the fact that you can get it all at once. Plus, if you sign up on their website and become a reseller, you can actually sell your stuff. Yeah, that's cool. Um, and maybe on make like a, a bit of showcase, yeah. mark it up a little bit and make some money off of it. Yeah. So it's pretty sweet. We're of course offering all of our files for free. Right. Um, you can download all those for free, or you can go on there and just hit make and make one and get it sent to that's your house. Cool. I like that because, like, somebody like me, I'm probably not going to want to have an STL file. I mean, you know, I might download it to toy around with or something, but I'm, at the end of the day, probably just going to be like, hey, I want this now. Go. Poof. Yeah. And you can actually go on their website and browse around and buy people's stuff. That's cool. And there's, so a, there's it's a like a of- gallery. It's mm-hmm. like a big store where you can also upload your own stuff to get made. That's cool. So... And uh, we're probably going to embrace, uh, this is some things since, and I understand uh, the simpler items are going to be a shorter form show, but like Jacob said, there might be some pre-taped videos um, for the larger items because, you know, there might be things that we can't just show off here because, you yeah, know, like with the... Yeah, like putting it together maybe or... Yeah, something like that. You know, we're, but, we're, not, we're probably not going to dye something on the show yeah. live because it takes like 30 minutes to an hour for yeah. it to set up. And we might like... And you don't want like dye everywhere and yeah. it, you know, we'll... we'll, we'll Th- those will have some pre-recorded stuff right. just so that we can, you know, show you more like Bob Vila home again, you know, while I was uh, up in the dado, uh, you know. Yeah. Um, one know. of the interesting things just watching from afar, because I'm not technically a member of the 3D like uh, oh, community. Well, I guess maybe I am now. But, you are. Um, the I like 3D- you. Oh, gosh. Wait, just got get up and walk away. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so... One of the cool things about the 3D community, they're so close, they're so tightly knit. You can always, like, people like Jacob or anybody on, like, a, you know, there's so many different forums and things. And you could, I'm sure you could go on the Pinoco website, like, email them through their showcase or whatever. Oh, yeah. They're very, they're very socially connected, um, everything. I mean, you go on there and you at Pinoco on Twitter. Yeah. And, and if it's something, they'll, they'll more than likely respond at every single at reply. I mean, they, they got a good team of people that are, they got about five or six or seven people that are on their uh, blog stuff and different places. I think they got more than that on bloggers, um, but they're always they're always bringing in stuff for the the 3D printing community, the making community. It's it's just a real neat, um, yeah, you know, thing that they're doing. So and what what I was talking about, like let's just say that I, I'm just a viewer or something, and I like what Jay puts up on there, but I I wanted let's just say I wanted to do just a knife or something or just a fork you could probably ask jacob how to do it and more than likely somebody there's a ton of people in the 3d printing community you could probably just ask them they'd be like hey you know i could help you out with this or whatever and uh yeah that's the cool thing about getting started in uh different things you can and, and there's you know in the making community there's tons of websites um we're we're gonna we're gonna try to um um dabble down the road of bringing in some people for maybe some interviews every once in a while cool. um you know once a month or something like that um, just to, uh, you know, show the making community off because this is what it is. This is, this is the maker community. The, and, and Pinoco is, uh, the personal factory is, um, a place where people don't, they don't want to get fully involved into it where they got to like build their own like machine to make stuff and do this and do that. It, it's a really affordable yeah, place to it's it's a way to kind of just step your put your left foot in or something. Or your, oh yeah, and you know, I mean if you don't want to like Jay. I know you spent thousands of dollars on your different three D printers and things like that, but you still use Pinoco because sometimes oh, yeah. it's just a quick fix hey, and you can't print stuff on your that right there. I cannot print well without extreme difficulty. Anyway, you can't print this. Really. It, it, it's it's very very difficult to print this on an, one of the open source three D printers just because of the supports and. And will not come out looking this nice, and yeah, and it, it's it's it, it's a lot easier, um, especially. So, hey, I, I mean, mean, those things are fun to toy around with. But if you want to get, who wants to go buy a uh, for the laser cutter side of it because they do have laser cutting. Yeah, who wants to go buy a twenty five thousand dollar laser cutter to cut laser cut stuff every once in a while? I know I don't, and I would much rather you know uh, spend some money on you know Pinoco and yeah. Get stuff laser cut it instead of. So yeah, before we before we uh, go off here, I want to finish showing the rest of these just to give a closer up look. Like I think we are, but you know that's the spoon end, and then you can go to this. Um, That's pretty cool. I mean, you can see how detailed the serrated edge is, like the knife portion. Um, I think you guys, yeah, you guys can see that. And then uh, 
here's kind of another view of it, uh, which is pretty cool. And then finally, there you go. Oops. So, so uh, yeah, I mean that, and and the if you're wondering, the grid squares are one inch. Um, so yeah, works out pretty well. Um, yep, yep, yep. Um, you know, we'll put we did put a uh, if you go on the blog right now, there's actually a picture of uh, one of these, and of course, we'll probably link to the Flickr gallery if you want to check it out if you missed the show. And I know some people are watching, or not watching, listening through the audio feed. Um, this is one of those shows where I'm going to encourage you to watch the video. Yeah, it's it's a very visual show. You want to be able to see. And you know, Jacob and I will probably end up saying, "Hey, you know, uh, it looks like this. You can feel it or whatever." But come on, you don't really want to be sitting there in your car being like, "Oh man, that sounds so cool," but I can't oh, see it. I mean, you know, and we're gonna be like, "Oh, look at this, yeah. guys! And this gonna... looks so cool. I'm so glad that everybody can see this." Yeah, and I try and you're to like, "Oh man!" Yep, yeah, I try to so. consciously say. Well, Jay, can you describe how it looks for our audio listeners or whatever? Yeah. But sometimes we're going to forget and just be like, oh, dude, this is awesome. You can even look at this. But Yeah, know. so whenever you can, get up on the YouTube and uh, watch it. Uh, right. We'll have it up on our website also, so you know you can you guys can check that out. Yeah, um, just to talk a little bit, I know a lot of people like to know, you know, uh, for people who can't catch us, you know, uh, let's say we're, we're not even, I don't think most people on the Pacific Coast are even, like, done with work yet, so... They're still working. Maybe you can't catch us live. Yeah, I mean, we're we're going to be on, you know, every yeah. week at six o'clock uh, Central Standard Time. Cool thing about YouTube, you can always download it through the RSS feed, but you can also get it straight through YouTube. Which honestly, I like streaming stuff to my iPad, my Android oh, yeah. phone. Cool thing about YouTube, it works with like almost any device. You can watch it on your desktop, whatever. Google uh, TV, works. whatever. Yeah, Google TV. Even that would be it. I mean, you can watch it on Roku, yeah. Apple TV, anything. So YouTube is honestly the best way. I like watching it. But if you like to subscribe to podcasts, we'll have RSS uh, feeds available uh, of the audio and the video. And maybe, um, you know, like smaller versions. Anyway, they're usually pretty generously sized so you can uh, download those. And one more thing. 6 a.m. Central Time. That's not really, that doesn't really matter. But that's when it's going to be posted on Friday. So we do the shows on 6, like literally 12 hours from when we start the show. It'll be posted. (laughs) <laughs> That's midnight for Carlo, which yeah. is one of our loyal viewers uh, in yeah. England. And the cool thing is, I would lo- I would love for you guys to join. I understand, you know, first episode, nobody knows what we're doing here. Join us in the chat room. It's right below um, the video, the video embed. If yeah. you're watching this live, of course. If you are watching this live. But I would encourage you to go to live.pbcasttv.com. And uh, even if you're watching it recorded, kind of explore. The cool thing is, uh, probably Thursday afternoons, we will have uh, all of our Fab Lab shows, or the latest three, in pre-record. Because, you know, Jet, we're like a 24-7 uh, TV studio, kind of. We stream 24-7. So anytime you stop, excuse me, anytime you stop by our website, we're going to be streaming, no matter if it's pre-recorded or whatever. Yeah. And um, once we get a couple uh, Fab Lab shows in our belt, uh, most of the time, what we do is on Thursdays, we'll, we'll be showing yeah, pre-recorded it'll probably, shows. Yeah, it'll probably run from like Thursday in the morning to like Friday morning or something. And it'll, and it'll sort of like build up to what we're doing, and we'll show all the previous shows just in case you want to come on here and just watch it for whatever reason. And the cool and thing is, uh, we'll, be in the chat room so like, uh, we'll throw some, well, not right now because we only have one episode, but once we, you know, like all of our other shows, <laughs> we have the like... one episode over and yeah, over true. again. But uh, while I'm editing the episode, what we'll do is if you're in the chat room after we get done and you've missed an episode, let's just say, uh, you can just request, hey, you could be like, hey, turn on episode two. I didn't get to see episode two. Or yeah. when we get to episode 45 or something, you could be like, hey, turn on episode... Yeah, because it, it's, it's kind of it, – I like the um, – of course, when you watch the pre-recorded, they're not live. and uh, but, but I like the ability to yeah. – other people will be in the chat room, and you can be like, oh, that's cool. Or what was what did he just say? Yeah. And, you know, stuff like that. And, and you can, you know, get in there and get people like – And the cool thing is the chat room is always live right, per se because I'm usually in there. Uh, all, you'll always see like PB Studio. That's this computer. It's always on. Yeah, I'm freaking um, huge in the chat room. Yeah, and uh, if you don't know and how that's to, my name. You can. I know this is kind of geeky and inside baseball, but we like these kind of things. Uh, you can download an IRC uh, Internet Relay chat, uh, which is a, you know very yeah, standard uh, X chat. Uh, X chat oh, for gosh. Windows and Linux. I would definitely recommend those. You can yeah. also use Pigeon, which is on Windows um, as well. But, MIRC and yeah, Merck is on Windows as well. But um, Carlo, you'll have to help us here. I think Mac, you could use XChat Aqua. There's another one that a lot. Colloquy. Yeah. There we go. 
Um, so, Thanks, Carlo. <laughs> and then also, if you want to visit our website, it's a little Flash in bed, but I know some people have issues with Flash sometimes. Um, yeah, colloquy. There you go. Um, that's a cool thing. You know, you guys are kind of our brains sometimes. If, if Jay in here, he's like, well, <laughs> what color? Anyway. We might ask questions, and hey, we might even do some giveaways coming yeah. up, and you might we're have gonna, to be live. We, uh, we're, we're in the midst of talking about some uh, contests that we might be doing. Yeah, because the cool thing is on these like uh, these smaller things. Since yeah, these the more simpler projects, you know, you we know, do have. Yeah, uh, like Jeb got. You know, we got four of them. Yeah, and then Jeb's got these original two. I mean, he doesn't want like ten sport knives, so <laughs> whatever. So yeah, I mean, um, there's one that we're gonna have uh, a handful. I'm just saying. Uh, that's going to be maybe next month, but hey, you know what we're what we're gonna, what we want is ideas. Yep. Because this show oh, can't go on without great. you guys. Now I'm thinking about we may set up a Gmail next week because um we we want user input as well. So you could hit us up on Twitter. Jacob is at freaking huge once again. I'm at that Nick Jones, or you can at PBcast TV, which is right there. Yeah. Uh, whatever, any way that you can get it to us, just try to get it to us. You can direct uh, if you follow us or whatever. You can. Uh, mention us or whatever you want to do but also um for now this is just this week I'm, i might set up like if we can get fablab at gmail.com that would be awesome. well you could do fablab at pbcast well, i want too. i want google voice we could get like people to uh well we could anyway we'll yeah. set this up later whatever hello at pbcast tv.com h-e-l-l-o at pbcast tv.com yeah, for now, for now. Uh, if you have a question or if you want to say hey you know do make something really cool that i want you to do yeah because yeah. saying yeah, because it's green. It's funny. It's awesome. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's how you can interact with us. Also, you can. I would encourage you wherever you're watching this to leave a comment on the show. Uh, PB, uh, you know, pbcasttv.com, blog.pinoco.com has great commenting, and then also YouTube. Like everybody has a Gmail account, so if you want to uh, comment on the YouTube, that's one of my favorite places to comment as well. And that's great for us to track. <laughs> Whoa, what happened there? <laughs> Jacob's messing around with the shots here. Um, but yeah, I guess that pretty much does it for this episode of Fab Lab. And I, I saw, I'm really sorry if we have some slip-ups because we do like five other shows. So if we say like Tech Weekly or something, don't get all messed up. Just, you know, if you're in the chat room, be like, wait, I thought I was watching Fab Lab. Yeah, and um, I, know, I know this is sort of like a... Uh, uh, oh, are you going to show them that? I just want, I want to show everybody... What exactly, you know, what yeah. we're doing here. So this is us. This is without any special here we effects. Are. This yeah. is how we look. So now you can actually see the spoon. Yeah. Um, but of course, if we go here, it disappears. So, and it, it wouldn't matter what yeah. like what background we had back here. Yeah. Because, really quick, really quick. I know this is inside baseball. Yeah. Thought one of those. Yeah. So we, now we, it's now, now it's blue. See. Yeah. Or, That's weird. Or we can that do whatever. Weird. So. Yeah. But we just like our little green going on here yeah um and if you like this kind of stuff we usually stay up we're usually here about 30 minutes before the show starts 30 minutes after at least um like yeah the, the actual youtube clip will be just yeah show. i mean but that's, that's one of the things you get for watching live you know yeah, you get you to, get the little extra extra uh something something yeah and we like when we started the show and had to start back over again yeah um but you'll get some i i know i say inside baseball a lot but that's what it is you know we talk about you know what all this crap is and anyway that's actually the today's the first time i've ever heard you uh, say we that. well <laughs> most of the time i let it go on our other shows most of the time i'm just like hey Joe, that's a green screen let's talk about it but i'm sure that people who want to know how to make a spork knife don't really care yes. why we use a green screen but you know but that's what you get with pb cast tv a little bit of extra something something and one more thing, one more thing before we go. Yeah, you get to see the bloopers. Um, <laughs> we're using a new camera. This thing is amazing. Uh, we've reviewed it on our site like 1500 It's like around $1,450, yeah. $1,500. And I know it's kind of like we're probably kind of looking we're, we're, sort of we're junky We're kind of skipping something. some frames. And we're, I mean, this is literally the first show we've yeah. done with the camera. Jacob, so been, we got this working like 30 minutes before the show started. We're going to tweak with it a little bit after show and, yeah. and uh, now, um, get it good. Let me just tell you, whatever, however it looks at the end, um, you know, I'm going to say that it's probably a lot better than it did last week because uh, one of our main camera, like our main go-to camera before this camera went out, and then we had to use like another camera, and it was all like messed orange. up. Yeah, it was We orange. were Oompa Loompas for a while. Yeah. All right. So um, I guess this does it for this episode of Fab Lab, episode number one. This will be the last time we the say The first episode yeah. ever. Now, you can follow Jacob on Twitter. You always do it backwards. I know. 
You can follow Jacob on Twitter, twitter.com slash freaking huge, F R E A K I N H U G E. And also Jacob Roberts me. The cool thing is, um, there's some things we can You get can't... a little inside something, something. Yeah. And we can't always cover, like, you know, Jacob might print something out on his uh, MakerBot or something that, yeah. you know, or, not really. Hey, I might be posting up some stuff that I'm designing for the show. Yeah. And hey, if you, you know, subscribe to my RSS feed, you might be able to see uh, yeah. a little behind the scenes of what we do before the show. I mean, and, you know, months to come, so. Yeah. And you can follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash that Nick Jones. Just add in that and then Nick Jones. Um, <laughs> it's basically that. Yeah. Nick Jones. Anyway, and then you can follow me, Nick Jones. Not follow me. <laughs> Check out my blog, nickjones.me. I, um, I don't know. I post a bunch of random stuff. Uh, most of the time it's having to do with either football, running, tech, whatever. Uh, but maybe if I get into some of this. Maybe know. he'll... Uh... Maybe he'll have a uh, 3D printer maybe made from uh, one of his uh, friends. Oh, maybe no. he'll start printing out stuff. Maybe so. Yeah. Maybe I'm going to get him hooked on the maker community. Yeah. Um, but anyway, guys, um, love to hear your sub- suggestions. I know we did mention a little bit of uh, uh, interview. If you have a, somebody that you might want to see interviewed, it, nobody's too big or too small. Uh, like We can get them all, man. Yeah. Obama's going to be on here next week. No, I'm just kidding. He's not. Yeah, no. But that would be awesome, wouldn't it? That would be. It would be kind of weird. I don't know. He'd be like, hey, Obama, um, do you make stuff? <laughs> no. no. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. And but yeah. And there, there, I'm, I'm probably going to say there are going to be some episodes like this. We're going to have some time to blab. About the um, Yeah. And if you join us live, we may open up like a Skype line or something and have some people call in one day. I don't know. Yeah. Just, um, you know question and answer kind of deal on that the show with cool, the, the things that would be kind of cool that'd probably be during like our simple shows that don't take yeah. up forever but yeah um be sure to uh uh for right now hello at pbcasttv.com right send us some suggestions send us some 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 things you would like to see made um you know hey i mean four things a month we got stuff that we need to uh figure yep. out what we're gonna do <laughs> sure do so guys and you have to get used to this. We do do a kind of a weird intro or outro, sorry. It's but, not weird. It's, eh, it's, it's not completely weird. normal. Anyway, guys, until next time, I'm Nick Jones. I'm Jacob Roberts. And this has been episode number one of Fab Lab. Happy Cinco de Mayo, guys. Cinco de Mayo? Oh, man, I don't even have my hat queued Weesh. up anyway. <laughs>